All right, so let's get started on the fundamentals class here. Uh, so we're taking it slow. So if you haven't done so already, um, you know, boot up your OpenSUSE machine, and you don't need to log into the terminal. Instead, we are for this exercise, we are going to explore some command line terminals and enter some basic commands in the Bash shell. So let's say after your system is booted, let's um. Let's switch to a command line terminal. Do Control Alt F2. And that'll bring you to a terminal. And you notice up top where it says TTY2, that's terminal 2. So we're going to log in here as group. And whatever you set your password to when you did the install. And it's going to tell us to have a lot of fun, and it leaves us at the local host prompt in red that lets us know that we're root. Uh, other distributions may look different. OpenSUSE is in red, at least this version. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is uh, do an easy command. We're going to do date, and that's how you get the date. Now we're going to type it again, but we're going to change the case. So we're going to do it with a capital D. Hey, what's that? It doesn't know that. Yes, that's right. It's not Microsoft. This is Linux. Linux is case sensitive. So just be aware of that when you're doing it. A lot of times when people go through these labs, uh, caps lock, uh, just want to put capitals in where they're not supposed to be. So it is very case sensitive, so just be aware of that. It, you know, your typo might just be that simple. All right, so here we go. We, we, we're going to switch to another terminal now. Control Alt F5. So now we're on TTY5, if you notice up top. And we're going to log in as a regular user here. Now we're still going to have a lot of fun, but this time as, as a regular user. So from here, we're just going to type in who. And you can see that some dude, that's me, is logged in here on this terminal on 5. It's also logged in on 7, which is um, that's your graphical your console. Um, so my anonymous is set to automatically log in on boot. You might not have that right now. And root is logged in on uh, terminal two. All right, let's switch back to terminal two. Control Alt F two. And notice that you don't need to log back in again because it's still logged in. And you can still see the results of the commands that are there. All right, so from here, we're, uh, we're going to go back to the graphical terminal and log into KDE. So, Control Alt F7. Not logged in. Log in. And we have some new updates you see here, but we're not going to do that right now. We'll get into updates later. <laughs> All right, from here, we're going to open up a terminal, a command line terminal, inside our graphic terminal, instead of just switching the screens. So click on a little. SUSE logo down here, and you have a bunch of stuff that you can go through. Um, we're going to just type in terminal or term, and then you have you know, your X terminal, your terminal in super user mode, which is basically being root, 
so I use that sometimes. Or you can just open up console, which we're going to do here. And this brings you to a bash shell. And here we'll go with who again. And you see the same users still logged into, you know, PTY7, which is where I'm logged in right now. Uh, root still logged into Terminal 2. And I'm also logged into Terminal 5. So note this here. This is a this is my terminal application that I'm logged into right now, and it's running as a pseudo terminal within my GUI environment. And that's how you know. It uses port zero. Now the way we got here was to uh, search for it, but you can also go to the applications menu and it's right off the Go to system. And from here, you'll see the console. But once you use it, it's right off your favorites. It's right in here. So it'll pretty much always be there if you use it a lot. From here, we're going to type echo Palestine shell. And it shows you that we're using a bash shell. Okay, for this next exercise, we are going to use protect shell meta characters. Then we're going to switch to terminal 2, control alt F2. We're gonna and we're still going to be logged in as root. Um, if you're not, just make sure you're logged in as root here. And at the prompt, we're going to type date semicolon two. And it gives you the date. And also runs the command. So you can string a bunch of commands together like this. And then now we're going to type echo. This is okay. And that's what it's going to display. Now we're going to type something different. Don't do this. What just happened there? Why didn't it display? Well, because there's a contraction, apostrophe T. Um, so we can do a control C to get out of here. Now we're gonna type it this way. Don't do this. So we put that in quotes and then it reads it differently and you're going to get what you want. So now we'll try something else. Do this. And that does it too. But that slash tells it not to uh, read the apostrophe. Yeah, we're gonna do go color sign shell all in caps. And 
and this views the expansion of the variable using the shell meta character. All right, next we're going to type echo dollar sign shell with a capital E, and you see echo. As we said before, it's a it's case sensitive, so need a small way. So if you just arrow up twice, you get back to where you already had it, and you can run it again. See the bash shell. Now we're going to type in a variable for something that's not there. Dollar sign test. And there is no variable set for that, so it doesn't display anything. All right. So in our next little exercise, we're going to find information about commands using uh, online help utilities and log out of the shell. So still in terminal two, logged in as root, we're going to type the following. Man dash K man dash K cron. And this will give us a list of manual pages or man pages that have the word cron in the name or description. Next, we're going to type man cron tab. And now we can view the man page for cron tab or the cron tab command. Uh, just observe the syntax here and scroll down. You don't really have to read it all showing you how to get through it and uh, when you're finished press Q and that takes you out of it or it leaves you back at the command prompt now we're going to type man 5 cron tab And this will show us the man page for the cron tab file format. Again, you can check out the syntax. Turn it down, or when you're done, just hit quit. So next we're going to type info. And this will give us a list of info pages. So we can scroll through this. Check it out. Again, this is just how you find stuff. You don't have to worry about reading it all right now. So quit. And now we're going to type, we're going to expand on info. Info date. And here, we're going to view the syntax information regarding the date command. And when you're done that, just hit quit. Q for quit. And next we're going to type help. Lord knows we all need that. And this will give us a list of bash shell functions that have documentation. And next we're going to type help exit and this will view the information on the exit command it tells you you know you'll exit the bash shell so let's do that 